Okay, so I've covered the dough and I'm gonna let it rise till it doubles in size for about an hour, hour and a half. And while that rises, I'm gonna start the oven. Uh, this one back onto the platform, put the back sill up on here, give it a char, clean it, and then we're going to start scribing it to the back. Do you want me to go and push that side yeah. over? Yeah, you can. Wow, I can't believe how easy, how maneuverable they are. They're up in this hoist. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, and squeeze the gas. Oh, oh you gotta keep it, yeah, you gotta keep it held held down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see how this dough looks. Wow, it's definitely doubled in size. And it should be like light, yeah, sticky. So I'm gonna use some flour, just put the top. Lots of flour is the key. It's not sticky. Here, there we go. And this will be a loaf of bread. Drop it in. At home in a conventional oven, it's uh, you bake it for half an hour at 450. Oh yeah, it's there. Okay. <laughs> okay, it hasn't even been like 10 minutes, but uh, we're taking it off. I think it's burned. Oh, it looks good in the middle. I think. Okay. Oops. 
charred on the ends. I think it's gonna be perfect inside. I'll cut off the, the burnt ends. Mm, perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this burrata. Your goal is to try to get this post onto that foam. Okay, I'm ready. So in parts of Ontario right now, we have an infestation of gypsy moths. It's an invasive species and you can see right here, this is the egg sac. And there's about 300 eggs in one egg sac. And they leave the tree vulnerable to other pests and disease. And in some cases it can kill the tree. So the best thing to do if you have these on your trees is to get rid of it. So I have, I have a pail of just soapy water and essentially you're just I'm putting it in, there we go, drops in the bucket, putting it in the water, and then I leave it in the soapy water for a couple of days and that should kill them. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do probably for the rest of the day. Up in there. And then some potatoes and carrots. So the classic trust in meal. Yeah. Okay, before I put too much more on that meat, I'm gonna season it. This is a combination of salt, pepper, steak, spice, a little oregano, a little basil. Put a bit more on the potatoes at the end. I'm gonna put some garlic in that steak, and some onion. Oh yeah, I got lots of onion in. This is the most important part. Make a nice hole in the steak. Nice light dinner for two. <laughs> it's sizzling, I can hear it. Okay, we'll camp right here.
Cats are soft. Rained all morning. Good morning. Good morning. I brought you some flowers. Thank These are the you. blossoms on a tamarack tree. They bloom purple. really wet. Kill those Canada geese. <laughs> They're coming for breakfast. Here you go, my darling. Thank you. Yeah, I don't see any light. I'm sure I'll have to fine tune it, but at a first glance, that looks darn good. Yeah, it's not moving. I was afraid this was gonna take a long time. Yeah, and I was also afraid it was gonna be unstable, but it's definitely stable. The length helps secure it. Yeah. Sweet. This is awesome. How many pieces do you want? Let's just do one each for now. Okay. Good. Yeah. 
Oop, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this quick overnight at the cabin build site. Uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.